Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would take you with me on my food shop, so I've got to go out and get some food, so I thought I'd share with you what I get um, as a vegan. I am vegan, I've been vegan for about four years now, um, so I thought I'd share the kind of foods I get um, and also how I balance being more eco-friendly where I can, but also being on a budget because I think a lot of us are on budgets and with living costs just going through the roof at the moment, at least that's the case in the UK, all the food's going up in price. I wanna show you a little bit and the kind of stuff I get. And I also wanna do a part two to this video and show you the kind of meals I get and why I stick to more simple plant-based meals that are generally healthier, fairly simple to create, um, but also seem to be a bit cheaper than getting all the like faux meats and all the processed foods. So that will be part two. But today I thought I would take you out with me and also show you how I organize our pantry and where we put all our food um, in the kitchen because obviously we are in a smaller space so we have to be quite clever um, and to be able to stock all the food. And I'm being ambitious this week because I normally just get um, food for one week. I normally just go once a week to get my food shop, but I've decided to try getting a two week amount uh, of food and seeing if I can fit that in our home. <laughs> um, that's mostly just to save time. So I live quite rurally. So the bigger supermarkets, they're still quite small, but the bigger supermarkets are about a 25 minute drive away. It's a bit of a pain unless I'm going there anyway to go there every week and it saves a bit of fuel again. That's good. going up in price. Um, and I also find if you go to a supermarket or any food shop, regularly you always come out with things you didn't plan to and the more regularly you go the more likely that's going to happen and I just think it might save me a bit of money if I just sort of plan ahead um so I've already done my list I've already done my meal plan roughly for two weeks um I'm not going to go into how I do that this week um but I will maybe do another video of that at some point so I've already got my list ready to go we're going to go to Arimore which is our local it's still a village but it's a bigger village than the one I'm in and I'll go to two places I tend to go to the local farm shop first and see what I can get there and then go to the supermarket after because it doesn't always have well yeah it's unlikely to have everything I need so yeah I will take you guys with me and have some fun food shopping <laughs> This is what I got, just got back from my food shop. Quite a big, quite a big shop, quite a big amount of food. Um, but I will show you what I've got um, and also how I'm gonna organize it. Okay, so I think I'll start with the fresh produce um, because that's the bulk of my shop and then move on to the more pantry items. I went to the farm food shop first. Um, that's our local farm food shop just because I like to get what I can there and then whatever I can't get, I essentially get in the supermarket. Um, oh, there are certain things I'll get in the supermarket when there's a really big difference in price, um, but I also think like the fresh produce tend to be better quality from the farm shop. So I'll show you what I got. I got this cauliflower, the leaves are a bit falling off, but the cauliflower itself looks nice. That's, yeah, all the stuff from the farm shop is organic. And then what else did I get from the farm shop? Massive garlic clove or garlic bulb even. I uh, got just three onions and courgette. I always get a courgette. <laughs> like to have one in the fridge. And I think, oh, and I also got them some nice looking Scottish strawberries. 
that's what I got from the farm shop fruit and veg wise and then from the supermarket I got some sweet potatoes so I bought some of these reusable produce bags actually from Tesco they do sell them and only like 30p so I always have some of these when I go out and then I got some just normal potatoes um, I'm very low on a lot of fresh produce at the moment so I was having to get quite a lot of stuff got a squash I like having a squash in because they last a really long time and I find that they can go across quite a few meals because there's actually quite a lot of food in one squash and that's a decent sized one um, I've got a broccoli unfortunately this so this supermarket I go to this Tesco is quite small um, and there's less of a range of looser veg so when I go to the bigger one or sometimes when I can get it from the farm food shop I get broccoli without plastic. Um, I also like to get organic, organic broccoli um, but again they didn't have that so but broccoli for me is pretty pretty essential. <laughs> um, again there's only loose apples so I have to get plastic but um, they are organic so yeah. But I do find, I don't know if you've, if you've noticed this, a lot of organic produce actually comes in plastic so I'm always there like what's you know weighing it up but what's worse should I go for the organic in plastic or the not organic loose so it's always a tricky call I don't know if you know that's just me that's noticed that or why that is and then I've got some blueberries I like to have that on my porridge in the morning some tomatoes I'm a bit of a tomato snob I don't like like bargain 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 yeah bargain tomatoes I like to get like the posher ones <laughs> and then some kale again can get it organic unfortunately I tend to um I, certain things greens in particular I tend to get organic because I really do notice the difference in taste I haven't got any like salady lettucey stuff because I'm actually growing my own which is very exciting um which you might have seen a couple of vlogs ago I'll link them below if you want to I have set up like a really tiny garden and I've been growing lettuce rocket spinach and chives although the chives haven't done very well so I'm not sure where that is um and then I've just got mushrooms again there wasn't any loose ones and oh well got some frozen frozen fruit as well for smoothies and I think that's it for fresh produce so we're going to sort of more pantry items so I got two cans of organic coconut milk from the farm shop I'm gonna run out of room over here <laughs> and I got some chickpeas and some butter beans again from the farm shop this essential organic range is actually really cheap um, I think it was only like four, yeah, 80p. So it's probably get that for maybe half the price in the supermarket, but it's organic and I like to support the local farm food shop. And then I got chopped tomatoes. Again, a bit of a chopped tomato snob now. I used to get really bargain ones when I was at uni, which I sometimes still do, but they are very watery. And once you've had these, it's like, oh, I can't go back now. <laughs> Classic baked beans. I'm not a baked bean snob. So Tesco own, suits me fine. And then I got, I like to have something easy in my pantry. So I got this tomato and basil, just pasta sauce, um, which is, is really yummy. It's really cheap, it's really simple. Um, and if I can't be asked to cook more much, then this is a nice, nice thing to reach for. I got some peanut butter. I got the cheaper one because I'm actually using this or I don't know if I'll be using it this week, but at some point I tend to actually use peanut butter to make like granola bars and stuff rather than eating it itself um, so I don't mind having the cheaper one if I want to eat I actually have two peanut butters if I want to eat it by itself I have a um, oh god what is the brand called I'll link it below but like a whole food one that's really tasty so this is just to like go in granola bars and stuff turmeric because I'm running low I got this in the farm food shop which was actually cheap what does it say yeah 65p which i didn't not think was bad for desiccated coconut i feel like that's usually at least two quid and again that's going to be for some uh like energy ball things i want to make this week um so that'd be nice i got my favorite hummus i only found this recently again from the farm food shop there's a couple of things I like about this one it's the yummiest hummus i've ever bought and it also has a good date on it so usually I find when you buy hummus from the supermarket it has like you have to eat it within a couple of days whereas this is like used by 26th of August and it's just the beginning of July now so I should have probably got a couple of them um yeah that one's really yum got some organic coconut oil because I've just run low and again this is for a recipe again with those energy ball things I'm going to make in some cocoa powder 
for that which was expensive actually i can't remember how much i remember thinking that's gone up in price as is a lot of things recently though hasn't it and then i get i'd like to stock up on plant milk so i got two just tesco and soya um and that i use for tea although i actually prefer the my cupper alpro my cupper soy milk for tea um but i can't get it at that small supermarket unfortunately but that is just oh when i go to Vanessa, i always get a couple of those because they're just the best speaking of good milks <laughs> i have to go to lee um again it's more expensive but it just it's just my favorite <laughs> so i just i do have it and i have my porridge i have the soy milk pretty much everything else so my tea my cereals etc but i have my Otterly milk in my porridge and it just tastes so much nicer um, and then bready type stuff. So I've got some pita bread. A lot of this stuff I'm gonna just put in the freezer actually. Um, we don't have a huge amount of freezer space. Um, we actually use the freezer in the main house. We haven't got a freezer in the tiny home as of yet. Um, but I think with bread stuff, it is quite nice to have something and you know, I won't go through six pita breads really quickly. I like to have one every now and again. So it's nice to have them in the freezer. Similarly, got some garlic bread. So this is actually just Tesco own. That's kind of accidentally vegan because it's the cheaper one. It's made with like, um, I was gonna say mayonnaise. I don't mean that, marge rather than butter, which has dairy in it. Um, so that's, yeah, and these are really cheap. So I'll have a couple of these. And then similarly, I'll probably put some of the wraps in the freezer. I'd like to have those on the go. I actually have some, I didn't get bread, other bread because I have some sourdough bread already. Um, and some in the freezer so I should be fine and then I've got these which were a recent find actually didn't know Tesco did this so Tesco do these in like the normal bread section rather in with the other where the other naan breads are and these are vegan and really yummy they're not the best there is another brand that I prefer but they're the farm shop didn't have it so we've got these and then we're almost there I just got so I like to get something quite fun <laughs> like a snacky thing so I've got this from Tesco from their plant chef range so they're just like little mini vegan vegan pork pies I suppose um and then I had to get a wee chocolate bar because who goes food shopping and doesn't get some chocolate this is my favorite definitely one of my favorites uh, it's the Nomo caramel and sea salt one I wish these in bigger bars I need even the small ones I think tofu always get this this is the best brand of tofu in my opinion it's much less watery you don't have to like press the tofu to get the water out of it you can just cut it up and it's ready to go and i already have one of these in the fridge that would be two and they don't have quite good dates on them as well got the richmond vegan sausages which are super yummy and definitely my favorite vegan sausages and again i'll probably just put these in the freezer and some biscuits uh yeah again they've gone a bit cheapy on them so i could get two two packets this week so the these are both accidentally vegan actually so the tesco own um dark chocolate digestives and the tesco own bourbon creams are both accidentally vegan and they're like 30p each so i've got plenty to keep my biscuit tin full and then we've got these which are just like little packs of fruit and well just fruit uh oat, oaty biscuit snacky things and then the last thing i think yeah are some eat natural bars i do as you'll see later in later videos when i show you my meal prepping and stuff i do try and make a lot more of my own snacks but it is nice to have something to reach for M mainly because the snacks i find that are pre-packaged aren't all nice these are nice but they're not all nice they often come with quite a lot of packaging and they're really expensive like this is 250 for three bars whereas i could probably make three times that myself for the same price so yeah but it's nice just to sometimes have something easy to just take out particularly if i'm going out like hiking and stuff it's much easier to have something that's packaged to take with me so i think that's everything um all in all price wise that came to about 64 pounds which i don't think is too bad for like i said hopefully this will be two weeks worth of food for one to two people so i cook obviously for myself i don't always cook for my partner because he eats slightly different food he's not vegan and he has other food that he prefers sometimes like he wouldn't eat tofu for instance so some meals would be just for me some meals would be for both of us um i'm thinking yeah this should do the bulk of the two weeks there might be i'll have to go in top up on on fresh stuff we have a co-op it's just like a small supermarket literally over the road so it's quite easy but it's also a bad habit to get into to just keep visiting in there because i tend to spend so much money so this is the 
the idea is it should save me a bit of money and a bit of time doing it all for like two weeks so yeah that's that's where we're at and now we've got to figure out where to put everything <laughs> and I will show you how we organize our pantry um, but if you want to know a little bit more about how I meal plan and how I meal prep I've actually just released a digital guide on that um, so I'll link that down below I have a few digital like ebooks and guides on my website um, that you know pretty affordable but they're just things that I like to share with you guys things I've learned along the way so I'll make sure to link that down below but I will get on and show you our pantry system now okay I've managed to unpack it all bit of a mission quite a lot of food quite a small kitchen but we got there the first thing I want to show you is I had a lot of people asking me when I did my tiny home tour where is our fridge so the answer is it's in here so it's not a massive fridge but it's kind of standard size for under counter fridges in the UK I know in America you tend to have a lot bigger fridges but this is quite normal this is a bit of a mess behind these cupboards here we've still got like insulation we need to board in random pipes but the fridge is in and then I'll just show you inside yeah packed it all away pretty well the only thing that annoys me about this fridge is the veg drawer it's really narrow so it's you know you can't fit bigger things in there which considering most of my food is veg it's a bit annoying but anyway that's fridge and then in terms of vegetables this is now stacked for I've got this little sort of canvas container where I put stuff and keep it in here so it's away from light um, because that's the best way to store those vegetables so I've just got like yeah potatoes sweet potatoes squash onions garlic stuff like that in there and then we've got a couple of places where to be honest it's kind of food all over the kitchen but the main cupboard we use for food storage is this one so it's a bit dark but hopefully you can see so up the top we have we've got tins down one side got plant milks around the other I got I always get the um like long life ones because then I can buy more at once we have a little bread bin thing here we've got some sourdough bread and stuff in there that's um actually thrifted I've got that second hand which is cute I've got like spare oats back there and then just the naans squeezed in here um some of the other bread I have already put in the freezer and then down the bottom <laughs> sort of everything what I do tend to do is I, first of all, label everything, as you can see. <laughs> Store the looser, smaller things, like your condiments, in a container. And I find that keeps everything together, keeps everything neat, it's easy to get to things, it's easy to clean. I can just take the whole container out. Oh, hang on. The dog wants to be let in. I'll be back with you in a sec. He's in. <laughs> Go lie down in your bed, Sky. Good girl. Right, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I tend to keep stuff... Um, in containers I find that a lot easier if you want to learn a bit more about how I organize my kitchen so not just my food pots and pans this year etc and how I've made the small space work I actually also have a guide on that a digital guide on my website so I'll link that down below as well but that goes into basically how I keep everything organized um, so yeah I've got condiments got a little snack this is just like was a package that I got and I've reused it for a little snack thing um, back there, a bit of baking stuff, and then like my pastas, sort of random oils collection of things. Just it just about squeezes in. This is as full as it gets, pretty much um, after a big food shop. But yeah, just about squeezes in. We are thinking of utilising this space, which is very unorganised at the moment. Sorry, because <laughs> this is under the hob. Basically, the gas we will change up to a bigger gas which means that I won't have to be in there and we can use this space a bit more. It's just a bit of an awkward one, so we'd have to figure out how to use it best. But there is a bit of overflow. Space. And then fruit goes in the fruit bowl. Spices go in my lovely spice rack that my partner made. Um, biscuits go in the biscuit tin. And then this drawer is quite a big drawer, so I use this for my teas. <laughs> um, so I have a little tea container for my everyday tea, but this is the, like overflow. And then also some more pantry, more like nuts and seedy type things on this side. And then my supplements on on that side. But it work, I think the tea drawer works quite nicely. Um, and then I think the last place to store food is, yep, yeah, up on our shelves here. Um, I'm obsessed with labelling, as you can see. <laughs> Didn't have to top this up much this week. Um, 
But yeah, I find that this keeps things nice and organized, airtight, food lasts longer, and we've just made the most of our wall space because obviously space is quite limited. But yeah, that's how we managed <laughs> to fit everything in. So I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, I'll make sure to link down my digital guides on meal prepping and meal planning and also on um, an organized kitchen and how we organize and how you might be able to organize your kitchen, especially if you are in a smaller space. Um, so I'll link those down below. And yeah, I'm always putting new guides up. So do, do keep an eye uh, on the website and I'll be putting more things up going forwards, especially food related things. And if there's other stuff you'd like to see um, food wise, let me know. Like I said, I will be doing a part two to this video. So I'll be showing you regular meals. I eat regular vegan meals, you know, low cost, healthy. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're not ready so you don't miss that one. Um, but other than that, thank you guys very much for being here and I will see you next week.